Hi everyone, I am on to do Cells Purple Outhouses Junk Journal Challenge for April and this is run through the Auntie Vera Crafting Land group on Facebook. So this, the challenge for this month was to make, make and decorate a tag or make a tag but it had to be, you have to use three prompts. Um, the first one being you had to use a tissue box. So I, I use this tissue box here, it's rather cute. It's got lovely little cute koalas on it. But, you know, that's just too cute for me. <laughs> um, it, I suppose it would be alright in, like, an animal journal or something like that. Alright, so that was the first one. You had to use a tissue box, make the tag from a tissue box. You had to use some ribbon, so I've got some ribbon here. And you had to use tissue paper. So I did scrounge around and found some tissue paper that had been sent to me and I've already pre-cut my tag so you know it would have gone on the side of the box like that I kept that because that's a really good shape to use as a template but I'm not using that right now okay and I have a just a piece of coffee dyed, very lightly coffee dyed paper because I'm, I like to back my tags. Okay, so I might do that first. Um, so we had to use all the three prompts and then we could decorate it however we chose. Okay, oh, I just got glue everywhere. My glue's melting again. I had to come in and do something today keep my mind occupied we've had no home internet this is the second day now after the four days from last month when it flooded so they must be working on on the line and then today is the second day we it was all off yesterday and hubby rang our internet provider this morning and they said that one of the te technicians will be out in our area at around 11 o'clock and he will give us a ring when it's rectified thank goodness gosh what did we do when we had no internet internet in the olden days <laughs> oh dear okay so I've just backed my tag, wipe up some of that, just roll that a bit, okay, now, so what I thought with mine, um, like, that would be a really cool tag as is, you know, you could just put a little word on there or a saying or something, but, yeah, not for me, I don't really want koalas on my tag, so what I thought, I might grab my tissue paper and my glue stick and put some glue all over the front of it because I'm going to kind of like mute it. And let's see, I'm not sure how much I'll need but I'm going to put my tissue paper on the front and just really squash it up and get some really cool um, texture and that really has muted that hasn't it that looks so good then we'll roll that again All right, cut that off I really shouldn't cut when that glue is wet but it's okay. I'll just clean my scissors. Okay. So I've used the I've used the tissue box and tissue paper. 
So what I might do now, I'm going to put a different colour. I've got my tea dyed Distress Ink and I'm just going to gently rub over the front of this just to pick up that tissue paper that has that is textured and I'll just roughly go around the sides. I don't normally do this with my ink pads but I thought you know won't hurt once in a while I suppose. Okay so let me have a look there. I might put a just go over it make it a little bit darker in some spots. Okay, that looks pretty good. like it. So it's really changed the colour now and it looks a little bit more vintage, which I like. Just going to run that down again. And now to decorate it, um, I might put... No, I'll just let the ribbon go for a minute. I have got some bits and pieces here left over from when I done Louise Heinzel's tag challenge and I thought I might just put those on I think. Um, I've got a mushroom from Louise's Digi Downloads. They're so cool. I just love them. And a butterfly. So I'm just going to decorate the tag now but I've still got my ribbon to use. Um, Alright, so what I might do is put some of these on, just scrap bits of paper, might ink around them, just with my tea dyed ink again, so just lay them somewhere. This is actually a scrap piece from Tim Holtz, Tim Holtz's paper. I think. Oh is it? I don't know now. Um, might be the other one. Oh dear I can't remember. I'll put that up there. Yeah why not? Let's go. I am going to sew around my tag. So all right I'll put those down first. And because I've got a bit of texture in the background, I am going to use my tacky glue. I'm still deciding whether I like this one or not. It's very thick. Oops. Drop everything. So with the internet out, I thought I'd come in here and try and do a video. But I don't know if that's going to work either because I do know that you can hear the construction work going on next door. So hopefully that's not too bad. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise you won't be hearing me prattle on. You'll just hear some music. Okay, so let's just glue these little pieces on. Um, I'm doing this just to add a little bit of layer and interest in the background. A little bit more than what's already there anyway. Okay, so I've got that on. I'll just cut those, snip that off there. Okay, I might while I just see that I might just go around the back here I should have left my my back go until I'd completed the tag because I know it's going to get in inky but that's okay doesn't have to be perfect right so we've got that so far as a base um, now I've got these little scrappy bits too why don't we use them hey little um, tab. Um, I'm 
do I want to use them like that? Let's just take that off. Just ink around there. I think I just like that one as is. I'll use the um, my glue stick for these. And I'm going to use that mushroom on here. So I really just I want to work out where to put my ribbon. So we have got a little bit of background interest going on. So if I put my mushroom say about there, um, I might grab my ribbon and put, I can put a piece down here. clean those scissors when I finish. Don't worry about it now, Wendy. <laughs> okay, and grab my tacky glue to put my ribbon on. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to having this internet back on. I do have um, a mobile phone that I don't really use that much. Oh, I did when we had to check into um, businesses around town. But I have a little bit of data on it, but I don't have a lot because, you know, like I said, I don't use it that often. Okay, so that looks alright so far. A bit of ribbon there. Do I want another piece up the top? Yeah, let's put another piece up the top just for something different. I'm just with this ribbon, it's um I just put it on the actual thick side of the ribbon, not where the oh, what's it called? You know the gauze stuff is in the middle. I've forgotten what that's called, guys. I really have. Okay, so I might cut those off. I know it's got a... Never ever has the ribbon type on the, these, because this was just... Um, oh, I actually picked this one up, looks like, from an op shop for 50 cents. Okay. Alright, so I've used the three prompts anyway. That's really good, isn't it? I've got another piece here that... Maybe a piece of that, I think. With the writing on it. I don't really want that edge straight, though. Just rip it. Okay, so let me have a look. Mushroom, just about there. Mm. If I push that up a bit, so you can see a bit of that scribble on there. Um, now I've got these. I think I might like to use these. I don't know how it's going to go on there, but I thought maybe just use them just to get them off my table. I'm just being lazy. I didn't want to have to pull out my folder and put them back in. <laughs> of course, Wendy. Oh dear. Alright, so I'm liking what I see so far. Need something else 
going on up here. I don't know, maybe a butterfly. Um, I could get some other things out, but you know, what else have we got on this piece? I've got some numbers. Maybe a number on there. Oh, interesting. That's interesting, isn't it? Um, and I've got this other little butterfly. Mm, maybe too many butterflies. Okay, let me just get that down because I do like that, what I'm seeing. Okay. So we'll put this down first. Okay. Right. Oh, I do want to... I do want to stitch around it, so maybe just the things that were on the side. Where was I going to put that one? Just about there. Okay, I'll put that one down too. And then I might just take it to my machine. Oh no, I'll put a tab on the top with some ribbon as well. And then I'll sew it down. Okay, so I think that was just about there. Let me have a look. Yep, and I didn't actually ink that there. So give that a bit of an ink and just take a bit of that white away. Okay, there. That's good. I like that one. Okay. Alright. So just before I go to my shimmer, my machine I'm just going to cut another little piece of ribbon I think that'll be long enough hopefully and just make a little pull tab for my tag hopefully it'll be long enough so I'll just put that on the back there center it about there and hopefully yep that'll be long enough come on don't shake hand yuck um paper towel Right, we'll just get that down. Okay, I'll just give that a little minute to dry and then I shall take it to my machine. I actually think I might like to, um, I'll take it to my machine and just go around the outsides. Yeah, I'm just going to darken this one up a bit just with some black. Okay, I like that a bit better. <sighs> okay, and I've got those bits to use. So, alright, just let that have a bit of a dry. And I shall be back. I've done some stitching just around the three sides. I left the bottom blank because I like seeing that little strip of ribbon there. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. Now my mushroom and this thing here, maybe somewhere different. I don't know. Let me think. Um, I think I did have it down here before, but then I didn't have anything up here. And I've got this little um, saying, own your dreams, just there. Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I need something else. Maybe uh, another piece of this. Because I've still got a bit of writing on that one. Let's um, rip that. I've got a bit of writing there. I might... Let's move that butterfly. I might just put a bit... Um, maybe a bit up a bit higher. Let me have a look. I can still see a bit of the ribbon over here, which is what I want. Yep. Will I? Won't, won't I? Let me have a look. Yep. I think I will. I'll just rip that down just a bit more. Okay, I'll put that on. Just there. And I'll get my mushroom down now. Come on, glue. Uh -huh. They're not sing or hum. Okay. So I'm just going to have my mushroom just about there. And I'm going to still put this on, just like the side. Underneath my mushroom, I'm going to put this one. Just so I can see that that bells and suns. Okay. Oh, like it. Just get that a roll down. And I've got this here, Own Your Dreams. And, oh look at this, little scrappy bits of cheesecloth. I might just have enough to put under that little saying down the bottom. Yes, oh look, heaps. Where's my scissors? Oh, there they are. Give me a hard time. Okay, let's just put a bit of this down. I'll link this up. Just put that on there. Did I glue that enough? Yeah. Oh, upside down. <laughs> Good on you, Wendy. <laughs> okay, own your dreams. So I'm just gonna just snip a little bit off at the bottom because I still want to see that pretty ribbon and maybe just a little bit up at the top okie doke oh I like that it looks really nice and what I might do is put the butterfly up the top oh, it needs to be on that side over there So I'm just going to put the glue down the centre of the butterfly and just leave his wings unattached. But I am going to glue down his little antlers, um, antennae, antlers. You think it's a rainbow butterfly, a Christmas butterfly. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, what is wrong with you today, girl? Okay. I was thinking it was a Christmas reindeer. Okay, not a, a Christmas butterfly reindeer antlers. Okay, right. But I'm going to glue his little antenna down because I don't want them to break off. Okay. So I'll just leave them up like that. Oh, I do like that. That looks lovely. Um, what I might do now is, I don't even know if I've got, yes, here we go. I might just um, do a little bit of shading. while to dry but that actually will dry a lot lighter because it's got the tissue paper underneath oh I like that that looks pretty cool Okay, that's my tag guys for the challenge in Auntie Vera Crafting Land. So that is my tag. Oh, I think it looks so pretty. That's using the tissue box and white tissue paper and a ribbon. So you can still see the ribbon here at the top and down the bottom and also the ribbon tab there and then just decorating it however I want. So I done that one and then I also done these ones here. So I have this one, which I love this. I love the way the butterfly comes out from the tag. And that has got the same base with the tissue on the tissue box and another ribbon there and there just like that one. Um, but the top here I've just used a bit of gauze. Uh, then I have this one here. This is pretty cool. I have got the ribbon all the way up the top and just over at the bottom. There and the same tissue paper on the tissue box. Um, then this one here. This one is rather plain but I still like it. The ribbon down the bottom and up there and just there. And it's just got an image that I had. But you can still see the the tissue paper that's that I inked at the back. So there's one, two, three, and this one here was the last one I um, that I actually done. Um, the ribbon down just down the bottom here, and the same tissue on the tissue paper on the tissue box and just an image that um, that I hadn't used and I've had that for a while so I just put it on there. Some of them I, I did back um, that's a piece of Louise Heinzel's backing paper um, that one I didn't back but I did back the one that I just done which was that one okay so I've made five and I had so much fun so thank you so very much Cell, for this challenge I really really enjoyed it and if you want to join Auntie Vera Crafting Land it's on Facebook it's not just for Aussie ladies anybody can join it and we have little challenges during the month not a lot um, of challenges like they're not full on but it's just something that um, something a little bit different um, that you might like to come and join in okay I actually think I need to put a bit of black around there no leave it leave it Wendy it'll do <laughs> okay thanks everyone I hope you enjoyed you all have a great day 
And now I've got to go and find something else to do. I suppose I could go and do some housework, couldn't I? While I'm waiting for the internet to come back on. Or they fix whatever is broken with it. <laughs> okay, see you guys. You all have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.